Hi everybody, welcome back, or welcome if this is your first time here. This is our cozy and realistic no mod series where we play as General of the Minutemen working to rebuild the Commonwealth one settlement at a time, and today we are working back here at Finch Farm. Now since our last video, I did attract some new settlers. I wanted to have somebody to work the clinic, and it just made sense that her family came with her. So this is our new doctor, this is Lily, and she came with her two siblings. Uh, we've got this girl who we are naming Margaret. That's her sister who really is giving me Piper vibes. And they came with their brother who I'm going to call Jackson. And I don't know where he is. We have Abraham here lost getting into the greenhouse. That's Preston. Where is Jackson? I know I just had him. That's just Lily again. Oh, we have Jake who figured out how to get inside his general store, which we built last week. And I just, yeah. ugh, it's so lovely. All right, we might we might just kind of run into Jackson as we go because I <laughs> I don't know what happened to him, um, but I do want to give them a place to eat, uh, and I think that'd be a lovely place for Margaret. I just said Margaret, right? I think so <laughs> for Margaret to work uh, just kind of over here behind the greenhouse because then you could get all the fresh food from the greenhouse, um, and then maybe we make Jackson a guard or a farmer um because we wanted the finch house to be kind of like transient housing for people coming in and out um so we've got a few roles for people we got a few things to do but i think we can get right into it with a restaurant or a bar of some kind i just want them to have somewhere to be able to eat and right as i put that down there's there's so much vertical height in this settlement. It might be really cool to have like an upstairs porch area for eating. I don't know how we would pull that off. But as always, we just kind of put things down and figure them out and let it let it reveal itself to us. Oh, and Abigail is talking to Daniel about <laughs> marrying somebody, which now he can with the um with the new settlers. Farm girl. There's plenty out there, you know. There that are plenty out there. Nice enough, even if her mother's a witch. And there's that girl at Warwick. What's her name? Joni? Janie. And she's too young for me. And Lucy Abernathy's only got eyes for Hawthorne and Diamond City. Well, don't you worry, son. There's someone out there for you. You're the one who's worried. Oh my gosh. I love that and we i i've read that dialogue before i haven't like seen it myself that's amazing i'm glad that we brought some fresh meat to the settlement for them to get to know okay i should have probably figured out like what i wanted to do but that's okay Hmm, could stairs come up from this piece like that? Ooh, that seems promising. And then is that like in the ground enough? I like these because they're wider. Like this, and then you can go up this way. All right, let's just keep feeling things out because we want an indoor section. For indoor seating and cooking but then i really do like the idea of an outdoor section as well if we can figure out how to build a walkway over there without getting too in the way of anything oh i think this will work really quite perfectly if we can get stairs to connect the two that work this family has so much good dialogue i think that connects yeah yeah i think that works and then this piece can go here how does that feel it's a little weird, but I've never been opposed to weird. We'll 
do that little pop-out section. And then wall it off. Hmm. Could something go here? Ooh, actually, maybe the stairs just go on that side. Just to keep it kind of more walled off. I don't think she really needs to, you know, fight too hard to attract business because she's she's the only bar in town, you know? <laughs> There's nowhere else to go. And then for safety, we can wall off this top part. Can I do this here or will it push back about here? It might not snap to these little single pieces the way I want it to. Yeah, it does not. It does not seem willing to do that. And that's just fine because we can do it ourselves with these pieces. There we go. Yeah, so we've got this kind of walled thing. And then we could keep going with the shack railing up here or we could look for more like scaffoldy pieces, which could also be really cool. Let's grab the scaffoldy pieces and just see how they look. Which... Do they exist in the warehouse set? Oh, I don't remember. I thought they did exist in the warehouse set, and I just have trouble finding them for some reason. It's not doors. It's not miscellaneous. Is it maybe in the concrete set? I think so. Yep, this is what I was, this is exactly what I was picturing. I kind of thought these would, yeah, snap like that. Will this longer one? Mm -mm. These ones will, so let's just, let's just put them on and see how we feel about them. And I think scaffolding has some um, longer railings as well, yeah. So just put those on and then we'll come downstairs and see. Hmm. I like that they provide a different texture. I don't hate it. I think let's spread them around. I want like this, but a double wide one. That's really not in warehouse. I guess it's not. Does barn have anything? I don't think so. If if warehouse doesn't, barn and warehouse are so similar. So maybe concrete is our best bet here. I totally forgot. I have been uh, starting this series uh, recently <laughs> by asking you all a question and I have been loving doing that because you all have such fun answers. Last week I asked if there was a food in Fallout that you wish that you could try um, and I really love the answer of Nuka-Cola Quantum because uh, I, I also believe that it would taste like a buzzy blue raspberry and so this week uh, inspired by the conversation that we were just overhearing I want to know who your favorite non-companion NPC is. Like, does anybody care about the Abernathy girls or Janie at Warwick or anybody else? Like, are they background noise to you or are there any that you, that you like? That is, that is my question of the week. All right, we'll kind of double layer that just to keep it interesting. I think same here. Let's grab this piece. We'll just do a blend, which I feel like makes sense because it would be whatever they could find. Yeah, I think I like this. I think I like this. Okay. And then let's just put on our Pip Boy because we're going to close off some of the light inside here. 
And I think in here, this would just be like where the bar is. And then maybe a private like living area for her. So it might be nice if we could do like an extension there for her to have some more living room. But then I just want like a typical flat wall here. And I want those little half wall pieces to close off what will be kind of her bedroom. And you'll see what I mean if we kind of do like this wall, like this, because I don't want it to cover the whole floor. It should like open like this to be her private area. And how far back can I get that? It might have already been as far as it was going to go. Does that seem straight? I don't want to give her cattywampus walls. Yeah, I think that's just perfect. And we'll pop on a door. Ooh, the door is interesting because I, I don't think it can swing out. So we need one that swings in, which there are a few options for. Let's try this one. Yeah. Oh, I like that because the metal kind of goes with the metal bits we're doing on top. That's cool. Okay, now let's just hope that we've left room for an actual like bar down here. I'm hoping that the door didn't take up too much space. Why isn't that going green? Can it go green? It does look like it can. Oh, the I think the door is going to make that hard, though. Oop. Yeah, this is really tight. Oh, I can still get through it. It's not the worst thing. Okay, so what if the door does go outward? Oop, I thought I could just kind of rotate it around. Hmm. Would it be better if I switched where her bedroom is? I don't think so. That just seems so tight. Hold on. Can this one come out farther? I think it can. If we push this right up against her divider wall. Then we have a bit more room. Okay. I think that works. You all know I don't like the smaller store things as much. Uh, because they bring slightly less happiness to the settlement. But I'll get over it. I think it, it fits a lot better in the small space that we're trying to do. And of course, to run a good restaurant, I think you gotta be able to cook a little. Not well. The standards in the Commonwealth are not super high. <laughs> but just a little. So we'll give her stove. And then I always do this little filing cabinet Oh, I was going to say, I don't have to do it this time, but I just love how it looks so much. I think that's wonderful. Is there a miscellaneous that goes well here? Like maybe a sink she could really benefit from? I think there would be a way if we rug glitch this cabinet to put a sink in it without it like floating awkwardly above. Let's see. Like if we do it there. Is that close enough for any interest? I don't like that, actually. It looks kind of odd. We've made that work before, but I think for this, that'll work better. I do want to give her somewhere to store things. And since the door opens this way, I actually think we could sneak a little safe in right behind it. And maybe that's where the high, high shelf expensive liquor lives. Yeah, I think that's cool. And then 
behind her could be where we store the rest of the liquor. Just two shelves like that. Yeah, and then she can stand here. We'll do a little rug, the cushy rug, so her feet don't get as tired. Why can't I put this here? I actually wonder if it's because of the wall shelf. No, it's because of the bar. All right, hold on. I thought that wasn't going to fit for a second, but we'll make it fit. There, and we'll put the wall shelf back. Oh, come here. There we go. Oh, this is turning out to just be such a wonderful little cozy space. I really adore it. And ooh, how do we feel about candles? I wouldn't want candles on the shelf because that's where we're going to put the drinks. But back here, I like them. Um... Let's give her a little cat bowl outside. Maybe there's a neighborhood, a farm cat that she likes to feed. I should put down a cat cage, shouldn't I? I'll get to that. Ooh, I like the grill too. Maybe she has a grill out front or over here for doing like outdoor meats. And I think a table next to that would make it even more usable. Yeah, like this. Yeah. So she has outdoor cooking area, indoor cooking area, shelves that we can put drinks on. And I'm looking for some more decorations here for her. I like the idea of a hanging buoy. Again, to kind of even further differentiate living area from bar area. And maybe to add some flair. A good salesman knows you've got to draw the eye to your merchandise. Ooh, Edatronic. Edatronic would be good too, but I don't want to invite them back into her personal space, and I don't think we have enough room here in her outside space. Okay, so let's keep that how it is. Let's come back here to her like bedroom. Because I want to give her somewhere cozy. I think she would make a pretty good living doing this, so I think she can have a more luxurious kind of set up. And you know what? Before I even put down a bed, let's do a rug. Let's do that floral little rug, and then we'll do that same bed I was looking at above it, like that. That's nice. That's cozy. She's going to have a lovely little bedroom back here. Shelves. Yeah. And then I like the idea of a little chair for her too. Not that one. Oh, I don't hate the airplane seat. I actually really like the plummy color that it brings in that sort of complements the rug. Oh, I think that's really nice. Would this make more sense at the foot of the bed though, as like a reading, reading nook chair? next to the bookcase maybe it does because then down here by her bed we can do a nightstand with more cozy little candles for her oh that's so lovely and then i want to do something on the wall Ooh, not that i can't even see it Ooh, this would be nice as her, like, reading nook. 
Little reading nook here. Cozy little bed. Let's give her a clock as well. Because I, I really like the Nuka clock. And I feel like she would be pretty punctual. Because she's got to get up and do bar things. You know? Oh, that's so cute. Wow, incredibly lovely. And let's drop... I'm pretty sure I have some drinks on me that would be under aid. Let's just drop some and try and put them on the shelves. Beer, bourbon, eh, probably not dirty water. Mm, maybe one. Ale, stout. Ooh, we can do some Nuka Colas. Nuka Cola, Nuka Cold Cherry, one Quantum. Rum. I really want her to be loaded up with everything that she needs. Whiskey. Wine. I'm going to regret putting all this on the shelf. I know it. Yep, already do. <laughs> Hopefully we can position some of it in workshop mode just because I find that easier to do. Bourbon. I hear footsteps. Who's behind me? Is it Preston? Whiskey. I've seen so many neat hacks for positioning junk more efficiently. Uh, I saw somebody do it on a rug and then use the rug to like put it on a shelf. And I thought that was so clever. Uh, but I think this shelf is, is a little too narrow for pulling that off. But if you're using like a bigger bookshelf and you want to put a bunch of junk on it faster than this, I think it's a wonderful alternative. Oh, I'm knocking over my own stuff. Oh, no, that's not what I meant to do either. This is the hardest part for me, the decorating with the little junk, but it just all comes together so beautifully. Come on, give me that. Yeah, give me the stout. This is going to be such a wonderful little bar. Nuka Cola was, I think it was the most popular option in the poll, or not the poll, the like question in the comments from last week of things people would want to try. Oh, why is this being weird? I guess I've always figured that Nuka Cola just takes tastes exactly like Coca Cola. We'll lift these. We'll lift some of these up ourselves. When you pick something up, it stays at the angle that you picked it up at. So squatting down a little just helped me maintain some of its position. Everybody wants to taste the quantum one, and I understand why. I bet it has a lovely irradiated aftertaste that just kind of burns in your mouth. Like Slurm in Futurama. That's, I bet that's kind of similar. Ooh, Preston was behind me. Hey, bud. Don't mess any of this up. I say as I knock over the bourbon. Oh, got the bourbon on the shelf. Got the water on the shelf. We are doing great. I really don't know how people manage to do such complicated builds with this. Just the, the patience <laughs> that it takes. I hear a radiation storm moving in. Do we think there would be radiation storms at like, you know, 200 something years after the bombs drop? Or wouldn't it be kind of like the dust has settled? Did that, did that land properly? No, it's... We're taking rats here. Yeah, I know we're taking rats, Preston. I just said that there's a radiation storm coming in. You gotta use your ears, bud.
That was <laughs> a little snappier than I usually am towards Preston. Rest assured, we are not beefing. We still love each other very much. I've never actually uh, romanced Preston. If you have, please let me know in the comments. I would love to see a graph someday of what companions uh, actually get romanced and how much. I wonder if there's anybody who's underappreciated. Actually, I feel like it would be Preston if it's anybody because he just has such a bad reputation for being annoying. But I love him. Okay, we got the wine. We've got the radiation storm in the background. Oh, crud. No, what is happening? Okay, the new cola literally just jumped off the shelf and into my face. But we will fix that. And I'm worried, yeah, we gotta do the wine. Oh, that knocked over the wine. <laughs> oh no, this is kind of a mess. Maybe we just get everything on the shelf and then we let Margaret deal with it in her own way. If she wants the bottles to stay knocked over, that can be her problem. I do like working with uh, like thunderstorm noises. I do think it's so cozy to be, ooh, I don't know what that was, inside when a storm is happening. So I don't mind the rad storm no noises. Okay. Oh, I just know as soon as she walks back here, she's going to knock it all over herself. But <laughs> we'll live with that. Do we want to do the upstairs while there's a whole storm going on? Because it is outside. Let's give her some buoys out here just to continue the motif. I hear guns. I hear guns and I'm worried it's going to be another death claw. The death claw from video one still hasn't despawned. <laughs> Has it? Nope. There it is. There it is. All right. Let's do some tables up here. Not beds, but we'll see if we can fit like the diner table. I would want to fit in more, more than two. Mm, I think my vision is more patio chairs. Like this, because they're going to be outside. So like one. Mm, two. kind of wiggle these so chairs can sit in comfortably. I love the clicky sound in the selection menu. It's just so... <laughs> it's almost like ASMR to me. Oh, I had this idea for a Fallout ASMR roleplay, but I'm not an ASMR channel. And I gotta stop chasing every single idea that pops into my head as it pops into my head or I'll never get anything done. Okay, it's a little crowded. But I think it works so well. Let's grab an oil lamp. For putting on these tables. Yeah. And both should probably get one, right? For fairness. Yeah. And then, ooh, over here. Let's look at our table options. I want like a high top situation. I don't think any of the tables are high enough. Are they? I don't think the tables are high enough for a high top. 
really, what do the bar chairs go with? Just the counter? Because we can do the counter. Yeah, let's grab... You know what I'm talking about? Like, all these. What tables do these go with? I like this one. With the little foot... Foot rest. And we've got just this kind of, like, zone here. I think this will fill it nicely. And then here, as our little entrance, I think we have room for a very tiny table that could hold a radio. And I think some radio up here would be just lovely for them. Actually, the round table feels a little too big. This table, though. Oh, it's so good for small spaces. We'll do that. And is radio in decorations? Yes, it is. We'll do Diamond City. Just kind of, just kind of like that. Oh, that's absolutely delightful. Are these baseball? Is that baseball on purpose? That's cute. Oh, that's so lovely. The best way to deal with the brotherhood still is to stay out of their way. Okay, Preston. Okay, that that's a great bar. Let's try and find Margaret and assign her to it. And do we want a little outdoor table too? Just while we're while we're here, we could do another patio table here under the stairs. I think that's kind of fun. Yeah. And we can switch up the chairs a bit. Mm, that one doesn't look super comfy, though. Neither does that one. The patio chairs are just so good. No, I'll push myself for the sake of visual texture. This one looks more natural on the little hill anyway. Oh, that's so cool. Should we do a liquor sign on this wall? I don't think so, because I think, I think she's more about food than just drink. I wish the little restaurant didn't say bar. Oh, I do. I do kind of like that. Hmm. Do I like this better, though? Hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog and waffles. That's cool. And then, because I'm looking at that, you know, upstairs, and it's really, it's really just kind of hanging there. So... Maybe we add a support or two. Yeah. And these, I think, yep, stack on top of each other. There we go. Oh, that's beautiful. And is this our girl? Or is this Lily? This is Lily. She's our medic. Can we trade a few things? So let's get her dressed up and take off that awful hat. Sorry, not awful. Just, I hate it. <laughs> Ooh. I will resist the jack-o'-lantern mask. We are now in October, though. So the next build we do will probably be the Halloween-themed one. Hi, how are you? So this... Oh, 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 that's Jackson. That's that's her brother. Hi. Um, did I grab her? Or did Preston walk in front of me at the wrong moment? Okay. We've got Lily. Okay. Lily's got the scrappy little clinic. Jackson, we don't have a role for yet. I think he's going to be a farmer and live in the big farming house. And then Margaret is going to own the bar. We just have traders coming in. All right, I can't do much with them. Jake, where's Margaret? Is she in one of the houses? Marco. There she is. Oh, she's hanging out at her sister's clinic. 
She's adorable. She gives me such Piper vibes. I know I already said that, but I'm saying it again. All right, we'll pop her in here. That's delightful. And I should probably assign her to the bed too. I just, I like when they go where, where they're supposed to go. Um, we do have all those Halloween decorations and I am excited to use them. Oh, oh, maybe she's not smart enough to be a doctor. She'll figure it out. Okay. I am excited to use all those Halloween decorations. I think our next build should be a Halloween one, which might be the live stream one, depending on how fast we get there and how fast I'm able to figure out live streaming. But I love October. I love fall. I I love it. I love it so much. Okay, now I think we got to clean up this main house. I want to keep most of it as it is because like the signs are cool and I think it would be a good... Let's clean up these bottles at least. A good like transient sort of housing. You got traders coming in and out. Can I grab this bottle? There we go. You got traders coming in and out. You got farmers who may be looking for work and maybe like temporarily employed here. And also we can't move these beds. So we kind of have to <laughs> find some logic for why they're there. Uh, yeah, I don't think they need bedside right away because they have the clinic now and they have the general store. But I, I like the idea of this little table if we put some candles on it, then it's like a nice little bedside nightlight sort of situation. And that's what I want to do here is just, just kind of clean stuff up, you know? Like again, same deal with the stim pack. What a, what a way to live. We'll store the new Coca-Cola. And they, they have a candle on that one already. But that leaves us a little bit of room on it, so maybe this is where we do a desktop frame. Yeah, desktop picture frame. Oh, I only have one left. This just seems like such a perfect, perfect location for it. Okay. So I'm trying to figure out what they, what they're doing with this. I'm going to store a lot of it. The metal buckets, metal buckets make me a little uncomfortable because I feel like they're using that as the outhouse. Maybe we give them just another outhouse out here so then I don't feel bad about deleting their buckets. Ooh, I don't need barn prefabs. I just need a little outhouse. And remember the main house uh, the Finch family house has a little outhouse already. So they'll have bathroom one, bathroom two, and this can also be used by people who are working the farm or at the bar. Okay, little lantern. Like, I don't want to scrap anything that we can't get back. Okay, buckets. I'm going to move to being over here just because I think they're useful for harvesting crops and also moving water, which on that note, I'm going to move the water pump out here to be with the buckets because I think it makes more sense. Yeah, that's cute. Hmm. Like, I guess before they had anything else, this was everything they could need in one place. Oh, I don't mind the pack of cigarettes and ashtray. That actually might be a nice touch to move outside if they want to smoke on the porch. Like that. It's so hard to move like a single piece of junk. Who are you? You're just a trader trying to get in? I guess, you know what? I guess this would work as a... Uh, like hostel sort of 
housing, so maybe traders could grab a bed here too. Let's move some of this junk over to the junk store. Just because it's so good, it's already out. Um, cigarette carton could go in the general store. Let's put it, yeah, let's put it on these shelves. Now the shelf seems kind of bare compared to how much we put on the uh, bar <laughs> shelves, but that took me so long. So we don't need to do it again. Guess. Guess. I just, I think it makes more sense for Jake to have this junk anyway. And bucket. And let's put this by the paint. I like how it looks to have the junk kind of surrounding the general store gracefully like that. And we'll move this chair to this side now so they can have some more seating like that. And then they don't they don't need a grill here anymore, which is kind of a fire hazard. And I don't like that all these chairs are the same. So let's give them a different chair. Just to keep it kind of, yeah, scrappy like that. And then because I took away the grill, they don't have lighting out here. No, let's give them a fire barrel, which I know is still a fire hazard, but at least it's in a barrel. There, so now they have more variety of seating and some cigarettes. Okay, and what are we doing in here? Let's take the Burnt Unstoppables comic and put it on this bedside. I really enjoyed this kind of building where it's just like, it's just like cleaning up stuff. Oh, crap. Well, that's all on the ground now. <laughs> that's fine. Since they have the bar now, I really don't think they need to store a bunch of food just on a bookshelf next to their bed. It is cool. It's lovely for that sort of world building that we love. And if we turn this, I did want to move that eventually. If we turn this to sort of wall off the sleeping area, you know, I love when we can do that. And I want to grab a suitcase for under these beds. Just because, again, I think this is kind of a not a permanent spot for anybody. So we'll do a footlocker here. And then I like the idea of having a sitting area. And this bookcase we can't replace once we move it. So let's leave it here. But let's get rid of the trash inside of it because they really don't need empty Coca-Cola bottles. But we can do this chair like this. And then if I move this table, the candles are going to disappear. But I want to move the table. So we'll put a different candle back on it. Because I think it'd be really lovely to have a couch back here. And I want the table to sort of face the same way it does. Like that. And then because we have so much red going on, let's switch out this for just a different armchair. And I will stay true to my word. And do, oop, not in furniture, but in decorations. I will give them their little candles back if I can find them. There they are. Yeah, that looks better already. I really enjoy that. Okay, so bookshelf here. What else would be nice? 
for a living situation like this because you can you can sit down and relax you have a place to sleep you don't really have a place to like work but we don't have a ton of work going on uh oh nordhagen beach is in trouble let's give them at least this person here on the left a little dresser for some storage is this i don't want to cover up that wall the wall is too good the way it is a desk could be nice i always enjoy a desk Maybe some of these people are staying away from home temporarily, and it'd be kind of nice to be able to write a letter back home. I want a rolly chair, but not that one. The wood one, I feel like. Yeah, this one will slot in there real nice. Yeah. Oh, I think that's really nice. And some plants. To sort of keep things nice. Okay, that's really sweet. So they have this sitting area for relaxing. They have sort of a working area here. They can collect some books. And then people who are just coming in to trade, they can sleep, they can stay. They can set up shop here for a bit. And I think this is going to be where Jackson, uh, the brother of Margaret and Lily, stays. Where is she? Why is she not in bed? We're on a hunt. Oh, they're enjoying the new bar already. Welcome to Finch Farm. That's wonderful. Finch Hi. Uh... Okay, well, nobody's quite in the right place, <laughs> but I like that Daniel's getting to know the new girl. Is anybody up here? No, where is Jackson? <sighs> Jackson, this isn't even a big settlement. I really don't understand how they could be so lost already. Walking around here in the dark, though, is making me realize that it would be nice to put light on some of these locations, because, like, the main family house is, is a good landmark to have in the dark. Okay, nobody downstairs. Anybody upstairs? No. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to take one of their beds. And then in the morning, we'll do our full tour of everything we've done. And when we're walking around, then I'll find Jackson and assign him to one of the beds in the farmhouse. I think that makes sense. I think that makes sense. I want to keep this build about this size. This feels good. Previously, in our last few builds, hi Preston, good morning. Yeah, salute me. <laughs> Sorry. Um, in our last few builds, we've really, really pushed the size limit. And so I don't want to do this here. I, just, I don't want to do that here. I just want to keep this as like a cozy, lovely little settlement so i will announce that we are doing our full tour here at finch farm we have moved the finch family into this wonderful two-story family home they have this porch for looking out over the water they have a small kitchen they have a small seating area with of course their grandfather's sword on display they can sit here they can listen to stories they can eat here at this dining table where they can all gather together they have a ice cooler for preserving things that they may cook if they get any meat you know from traders some storage under the stairs up here, we have a small office area for the mother of the settlement, Abigail. She serves as kind of our mayor here. So she is kind of a liaison to other settlements. Um, she works with the Minutemen very closely. Over here, we have her bedroom. This is kind of the main bedroom of the house, small sitting area, and then a king size bed for her and Abraham. Abraham did want to be mayor, um, but of course he was not allowed to be because he has a crazy temper and he can't be trusted with government. We have here, this is like a... Um, sort of half bedroom for one of their sons the younger son daniel um he has copied a lot of the decor from the original house just kind of took it with him but this is where he lives preston excuse me thank you 
So that's the main house. Um, now this house, this is the original house to the settlement that we can't move. Uh, this was originally the Finch's house. They have gotten an upgrade, but we have kept this little house here because it is a wonderful space for farmers to stay, traders to stay, anybody who might be coming in and out or kind of transient. We have a little desk working area for them to maybe write letters to home. We have a lovely sort of family sitting area. Oh, I'm sorry for you to see trash. That's so unprofessional of me. Uh, we have this little sitting area for them. And then of course the beds that we cannot scrap, but also exist here for people who might just be staying for a little bit, traders coming in, uh, and some of their farmers, their seasonal workers, um, ignore the death claw, continue to ignore the death claw. And look, here is Jackson. So this is one of our newer settlers. He came with his two sisters. And he is working here as a farmer, one of their sort of seasonal workers, although I guess he is more kind of permanent here. Um, so he lives and works in the farm this is the greenhouse where they have some of their crops inside and then they have this outdoor field of razor grain so they produce a lot of wonderful crops here at finch farm they're very experienced farmers now here, this is where Jackson's sister, Lily, works. She has this outdoor sort of console area, but also where she can host company. And she has this little clinic inside. Look at her working. This area here is so you can sit down, get a face-to-face -face with the doctor if she needs to check your blood pressure or something. Uh, and then back here, this is her little private uh, sleeping area. And also she has a little cat painting because she's kind of embarrassed about being a little cat lady. Here we have a bar. This is where Margaret, the other sister of the family that came and settled here with the Finches, uh, Margaret has this wonderful bar. This is Margaret. Uh, this is her and her bar and all of her lovely position drinks. You got to fix those that have fallen over, lady. That's that's on you at this point. She has a small little kitchen so she can serve up food, a safe for the you know higher price liquor she doesn't want people sneaking sips of. And then back here is her private living area. So she's got a little bed, little seating area. And then upstairs, we have even more seating. So there's some bar seating, there's some Diamond City radio, and then there's these wonderful tables that you can enjoy the fresh air, the water, and good food. It's really, really quite lovely here. Uh, again, ignore the death claw, and we can get rid of our temporary <laughs> settlement here in the meantime, since people are all good, all set. The last thing we have to show off in this settlement is the general trader. So this is owned by the older son, Daniel, who, or, sorry, not Daniel, Jake. Jake, who previously tried to run away, has come back home uh, and needed to get out of his parents' house. So he runs the general trader store, which also allows him to get out of the settlement sometimes, to go on scavenging missions, to collect, you know, more supplies to sell and salvage. He got this out of a nearby vault. Um, and he just sells any junk he can get his hands on. He works here at his little desk and he keeps a Minuteman flag up to remind him that he got a second chance because of the Minutemen and, and not to waste it. He also collects some little signage just like his brother does, just like his father does. And he's got some junk here to sell, little chair and his little general store. I think that does it for Finch Farm. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please check out the playlist of all of my builds. We are coming up so close on 10,000 subscribers on this channel. Last time I checked, we were only like 30 people away or something absolutely insane like that. So we might have even hit it by the time that I post this video. And in celebration of that, I do want to do a live stream. So stay tuned because that is coming at some point. The next build, I'm hoping we are going to do something Halloween themed because it is October and I love spooky season so much. Uh, I think that wraps it up here at Finch Farm with the Finch family and the new family that settled with them. I think this just turned out so lovely and I had so much fun doing it. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you. Have a lovely day and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.